So guys, um, we are in Mina, Nanja State. Uh, we came in about 12 this afternoon and uh, uh, we came in for the event I told you uh, is going to be taking place here in my live chat which happened on Sunday was it Sunday I think Sunday Monday and today is Thursday so uh, so many things will be happening in this city so many many videos coming up just stick with us and enjoy every bit of it that will be coming up on this trip I came with <laughs> the missies all right she's here with us let's go we are in Chanchaga, or we just entered Chanchaga in uh, Niger State, which is the capital city of uh, Mina, is the capital city of Niger State. That way we are today. And um, I just want to take a drive through the major road that goes all the way from Chanchaga all the way to Boso and all the stuff, so that I will show you what the city of Mina, or the main road in Mina, looks like. Okay, guys, let's head up. Alright, to my left here is the Coca-Cola Depot. It's a small one, but the town itself is small, so let's keep going. Let's just keep going straight. Okay, and uh, I've just been told that this junction is called Alade Junction. The thing about Mina, one of the things you notice as you're entering, the first thing you notice is the dual carriage that you find. And then, like you can see, there is a, a junction here called Mechanic Junction. Mechanic Junction. Okay, there is a school called the North Endwell School just by my left. We just passed it. We're heading down. And let me go back to what I was saying. The, um, the thing you notice is the dual carriage, right? And... You notice the center divide is green, is lush. Maybe it's because it's the raining season, uh, I, I, I suppose. Maybe because it's the raining season. Or maybe because Niger State is located in the middle bed of the country. So maybe that's what it is. But anyway, we're here during the raining season. So this is what we are seeing now. Uh, to my left also, there is a construction firm. Uh, their yard is just there. We just passed it. I don't want to call their name. They didn't pay us to call their name. <laughs> I'm crazy. Anyway, that was PW. We passed and uh, we're heading. The road is a very long road, really. But I'll, I'm going to talk about the things that I know. And uh, my videographer by my side, anyone she, she knows, she's going to call out the name so that we're able to tell you guys and so that you guys will know what uh, we are driving past as we are going. Tungan. Tungan what? Tungangoro. Okay, the junction we just passed now is called Tungangoro. They have a market. Okay. She said they have a market. We, we, we just passed the market. We just by the, we just passed the place. It's just by the road. And we're just approaching a bridge now. Thereafter, just after the bridge, I think it's a military cantonment or something to uh, the left. Barracks. A military barracks. It's a place. So, what's the difference between cantonment and barracks? I don't know. <laughs> so, why are you there? That's how we call it military barracks. West Africa is a national council to our right. Yes, We've passed it. Why? <laughs> <laughs> military barrack, <laughs> military cantonment. I, I don't know the difference either, but I can always find out and I put it in. Cantonment is a place where ah, dictionary. Live. Oh know. my god! <laughs> For the barracks, it is like their home. No, like, wait, wait, wait. The soldiers don't live here, do they? <laughs> they live here. What are you defining? They there? live here in their home. They are not like on military still. Oh, that was crazy. Uh, they are not like on military um, duty and they are camped somewhere or something. 
they are living there. Uh, let me ask you, are you a soldier? Why are, <laughs> are you defining this thing like this? I'm trying to tell you the difference. <laughs> I asked you that, that, do you know the difference? You say no, and you're trying to tell me <laughs> what you don't know. That's the crazy yeah, part. Okay. That's the crazy part of this whole thing. They have a flyover just in front of us. We're passing. National College of Education. Uh, all right. To my right is the National College of Education. And to the left, we just passed the military office, the barracks, cantonment office. I don't know which one to call it now. <laughs> and the other thing you also notice as you're driving past is that the roads have some portals. And the, 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 the bad thing about the portals is that they are deep. And I'm even wondering why they don't just fill them up. You know, they are not totally bad yet. Dr. Umaru Saidu in Memorial something school is to our right. We just passed that. So going back to what I was saying, the roads have portals. And I just feel that even if they are not fixing the road uh, properly, they should just fill them up. So that people just, if you don't know this road and you're driving at night, I'm telling you, you're going to jump into little portals. And the portals are not shallow at all. They are deep. They are deep holes. All right, I hope you guys are enjoying this ride. If you're new to this channel, I do things like this. I also do uh, go to places, explore villages, culture, st interesting stories, which we try to bring all the time, you know. We do all those. Please subscribe to this channel if you're new. It would be nice to have you because we're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers this year. Now we are approaching the city gate, okay? Uh, the city gate you guys can see it just in front of us uh, let me come this way this is the city gate we've entered the city of Binan properly now all right and one other thing you also notice like this thing you see in front of us this artwork it looks like a torch like that from maybe uh, uh, one of these uh, sports events and all that it, it, it's fine though it's fine oh praise the lord these portals here we just passed they filled these ones. <laughs> these are the only ones I've seen so far that they are filled, you know. Yeah, it's not so bad. The road, the road is not really bad, really, you know. But just that the portals that are there are deep, you know. There, you expect that since the road is relatively good, that you won't have even if the portals they shouldn't be that deep. But these ones they are deep, man. Okay, we driving. One of the other things I noticed is that, you know, being here for about two days already now, is it two days or three days? Three days. You see, we just jumped into our hole now. I noticed, okay, to our right is the, the park. If you want to go with public tra transport, you're going to Abuja or any other place, there's a park to... Okay, I was just being told now that it's called Abdul Salam Garage. <laughs> oh, you know, one thing you need to, uh, she just pointed out is that they have street lights. But I can assure you, I drove yesterday at night, the lights were not working. <laughs> yeah, they are decorative lights. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. <laughs> is it because there was, I don't know whether because there was no light in town uh, yesterday when I drove at night to go and get dinner. Or maybe it's just like that. I don't know. But anyway, but as I said yesterday, I drove past in the night. There was no light at all. All right, we keep going. The city of Mina. Like I said, this is the major, major road. When you come into the city of Mina, it cuts across almost everything. There are roads that goes to the left and to the right. And at those roundabouts or those intersections, some of them they will indicate where they are going to. I will say one or two of them when I when I do get to one. I think you guys need to know. I will say it when I get there. All right, we just hit um, traffic light now. We're we'll waiting for about 50 seconds or thereabout. But there's one thing else I notice, right? I say I've been here for about three days. The people of this state they don't stop at the lights. Like they just like driving past the lights. Uh huh. 
last night, yesterday, when I was coming back. Uh huh. Uh huh. They are disappointing you. People are the They are not stopping. Even cars yesterday. The guy that brought me from the stadium yesterday. That's how he drove past. And I'm just wondering, why don't you just wait? It won't kill you. 50 seconds, 30 seconds, you know. And sometimes some people behind you will be honking their horns, you know, telling you to move because they feel that you're wasting their time. You should be moving. Just before it counts down completely, people will start honking, move, move, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. Um, top what? Top medical junction. Oh, top medical junction. Uh, probably you should be telling us exactly where this place is now. Let me bring the so that okay. the audio will be, will be good. I don't know much. Uh. <laughs> but you've lived in this, you were born here, right? I'm not the outgoing type. Wait, <laughs> you were born here? I know. No, no. Were you or were you not yes. born here? Yeah. Simple answer, yes or no. And you don't know places, that's amazing. It's Tunga, Tunga. Tunga what? Yes, they, they have a market here called Tunga Market. Tunga Market, okay. Okay, we've not been told that we just this passed NST. it. To, we've just been told that that's Tunga Market and just beside it is uh, Niger State Transport Association or whatever they call them, NSTA. And uh, we just hit a roundabout now, they call it, is it a basket? I don't know where they called what the name is. but. From this roundabout to our right takes you to Tunga too, because to the right is Tunga. We were there a few days ago. David Mark. David Mark. Yes, to our right is David Mark. That's the name of the road. Yes, David Mark Road. But it takes you to Tunga. No, it's, it's, it takes you to I think Mekunkele or so. Mekunkele. Okay. Yes. All right. Because I know when we're going there on Saturday, they said it's Tunga we're going to, and that was the road we took. No, we're not. It's Tunga is the one we passed. Where the burial ground is, it's called Tunga. It's called David Mark Road. Okay, no, no, I agree stopped. whether it's David Mark Road. But when we were going on Saturday, we were told we were going to Tunga Cemetery. Oh. That was where we went to. So, and that is the road yeah, that leads to... Yeah, about that. <laughs> that. That was the road that we took. Was it not, was it not the road? Yes. <laughs> this is the bank area. Oh, this is the banking area. Yeah. Because I remember we went there on Saturday and I drove and they Central told me. Bank. Uh, okay, we just hit another roundabout now, which is one of the things you will notice so much in, in most northern states. Actually, they have many, many roundabouts. All right, there's a bridge in front of us. I don't know what they call this bridge. I think the rail, old rail line passes underneath, yes, right? Yes, I think they call it Savannah. Savannah. Yes, because there used to be a Savannah bank so around, around this area. Yes. All right. This is where the fish market is. Down to our right. Yes, down the bridge. Okay. This is where the fish market is. And there's a big market there too. So this we just got. This is always on Thursdays. Okay, we just got. We're getting down the bridge now. My videographer is telling me where, when they are selling fish market, she does you think want to go and buy fish? <laughs> Give me days of the week and they the sell fish. Right here is <laughs> you can't buy for a Oh my god. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but the way you're saying it, as if you're describing this video to market with them, go and buy fish. <laughs> they might be interested in catfish. Catfish for <laughs> Um, uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> amazing. Okay, this seems to be a very busy area because I noticed they have more uh, shops on the side of the road, you know, more here than where we're coming from, you know. They have more activities, more filling stations, more, like a lot of things being sold on the, on the road. Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Please, if you do, give this video a like. It would be nice to know that you enjoyed uh, this video or enjoy videos like this. It, it over there, the brown roof is uh, Obasanjo complex. It is um, a place where it is like a, a village 
computer village. Computer village in Abuja. Oh, is it like Banex, right? Yeah, like Banex, yeah. We um, they sell electronics. Okay, I can sold. see techno, yes, uh, all those stuff. Yes, uh, all okay. those electronic stuff. Oh, okay, okay. And also out here, you see a lot of stores. Okay. All right, I can see the central mocks too. Oh yes. my God, that's beautiful. keep going down uh, I also learned that the university is somewhere in front right yes okay which is what's the name of the university FUT Federal University of Technology yes oh, yeah, okay this is like you were thinking about it whether yes, I was. <laughs> as if the name has escaped <laughs> you <laughs> I was <laughs> when I remember the FUT and I was like what does it stand for oh, yeah you were guessing <laughs> All right. There's also a new a, a new structure in front after the intersection, which has this thing on top. I think it's a mosque. I'm not too yes. sure, but it looks like a mosque. I can see like uh, the is it the VI? They've caught one bike guy, one uh, okay. guy there. <laughs> the guy is trying to. <laughs> oh my God. I don't think they are VIOs. What are they? What they are. They're not VIOs. VIOs wear white. White and black. But yes, these this ones, ones, I don't know what, what, don't know what to call yeah. them. I call them VIOs. Well, I'm sure they are one of the state of mm, Yeah, yeah, they are. So, guys, as you notice right now, when we just passed that intersection, the, all the shops I was talking about just kind of fizzled out, you know. You, the place, this place is more like uh, quieter, spacious, not crowded with people or or cars, you know. It, it looks very fine, very fine. Anyway, guys, uh, Mina Mina has a very humid. Uh, what I say? I mean, it's humid, right? And the temperature is always, I would say high, but because we're here in the raining season and uh, it has been raining quite a lot for the past few days since we came, the, the temperature is not as bad as it used to be when it's not raining. And again, we're sitting in a car where the AC is running, which makes it fine, you know, we're just chilling. I'm sure if we're driving, we look at that guy, I don't think he was going to stop. See, he has crossed and it's 50 seconds to go. I told him, you know, people don't wait. Even Abuja people. Yes, they are the same. They are the same people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why like, people like beating this traffic. Like, but like I said in one of my videos, right? Like, if, they, if they keep arresting them and then them paying fines, eh, people will stop beating lights. You, do you understand? Because the reason why they beat, because they know not, assuming they have all those cameras they have in the develop developed world where even if you run across the road they'll bring you your 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 uh, will i say your bill or whatever and you know then you go and pay in the court or what. so you you will you will make sure you don't beat the light because you try not to even if some people will try to beat it sometimes but you try not to because you know that something will happen to your pocket or your bank account when you do you know <coughs> So what do you guys think of this place? So can you leave me in the comment section? Can you tell me what you think of the road in Mina? And uh, what you think of the drive so far? Let me hear what you think actually. It's always nice, to, not just me talking alone. Also getting to know what you guys, was on your mind. And uh, we'll keep showing places like this too because everywhere I go, even if I'm going to do some fantastic stories, things that are very interesting, I also want to show the city as it is so that for those of us who have never been there or for those of us who have been there years ago who have not for any reason been to Mina you'll be able to see what it looks like as of today, you know 
So, like I said, this is just the major road that cuts across the city. And we've been driving for a while now. And it's interesting, I'm telling you, to see that the roads are fine. In spite of the fact that I mentioned some of them are... Some, some portals are there, there. We keep jumping into them here and there too. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Cleaner than most states. Um, cleaner than Edo State. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> but Edo State, they try, but no, we're nowhere near. <laughs> most dots, like Abuja is clean, the roads are clean. Aqua Ibom, oh my god, that's super clean. Um, Joss. Joss is clean. Bauchi is too. Uh, most places are really most cities are because they employ people now to sweep have uh, street sweepers even if we don't have the machines that do the sweeping there are people who sweep the street almost every day and they're keeping it clean and the other thing we can do as individuals is to not to throw things from our cars you know maybe we're eating corn in our car you see some people just throw the uh, the cup or whatever they call it on the road or maybe they finish drinking throw the uh, pep bottle on the, that's wrong man that's wrong you keep it in your car when you get to your destination trash it properly i mean what why it's, it's it's just not something good to see you know especially when you see like some kind of fine cars you're driving behind them somebody will just fling things out of the car it pains me and sometimes i wish that um, i am one of those special uh Oh, we just hit the university now. Oh, I'll continue this talk anyway. This is the University, Federal University of Technology. That is the gate you're seeing, guys. I just slow down so you guys can see that. Good. All right, let me go back to what I was saying. I keep saying, when I see things like that, I just wish that there's a special um, force or security or whatever the, it is that I can enroll in that what you do is that when you're driving behind people, you see people throwing trash on the road, maybe trash patrol or whatever they call them, arrest the person, I mean make the person pay a fine or charge the person to court or whatever the case may be. When people know that people get a, a fine for doing things like that, people start sitting up. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Okay, let me show you guys. Let me just park here briefly. You can see to my left here, right? Uh, you can see a lot of ram. You know, when Salah is almost approaching like this, you know, you see different places up. Uh, they, they they pop up and they start selling uh, rams. Wow, I just saw one beautiful rock formation there. Maybe we're coming back. I'll show you guys a bit. So anyway, that's what they're doing because the Salah is almost here, so they're selling rams everywhere. So guys. This is what, what I, let me go back to what I was saying. Set up a trash patrol. Let me be one of them and I will be arresting people. I'm setting people to court for trashing, throwing trash on our roads. I'm serious. Honestly speaking, I wish there is and I will register. I don't, I'm telling you because it's something that bothers me. Why would you just throw trash on our, on our streets? Anyway, thank you guys for watching. What's the name of this gate? All right. I think I've gotten this far. Okay, guys. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I've driven driven from the gates when you just the city gate when you come in. I'm sure this is on that city gate out of Mina. Thank you guys for watching. I think I'm gonna stop this video here. Uh, if you're new to this channel, please do subscribe. If you've been watching my videos, you've not subscribed, please subscribe. What are you waiting for? We're trying to hit hundred thousand subscribers this year, and it cannot happen if you guys don't subscribe. Please subscribe. And see you guys in the very next interesting video. Ciao.